You better believe it. Good rainy morning here in London. We are now in Piccadilly Circus and we are about to go to the M&M store and uh, the Lego store here in London. So, we'll see you there. Before we continue, we just want to thank our returning subscribers for your continued support and to our new viewers, thanks for watching Pinai Mom's Vlogs. Alright, we are here in Piccadilly Circus area and we are about to go to the M&M store. Okay, we are now in a... What square is this, Hung? Leicester Square? Leicester Square. Leicester Square, all right. Yeah. And... Leicester, aka Leicester Square. And m and M World. And we have to follow the kids because they're already so excited to be in here. Oh my God. So delicious. Be prepared to enter this rainbow-colored paradise of M&M's and all of its merchandise when you're shopping at M&M's World. If you are a die-hard M&M fan, you'll surely not want to miss to create your own mix. Come down to the world's biggest candy wall and fill a bag with your own personal selection of mixes. Did you know that there's over a hundred different colors and flavors of M&M candy to choose from? Here's something I feel was quite interesting, a machine that analyzes your color mood. And although in my opinion this is just some random spill of made up results, it just might be possible that your preference to a specific color M&M might have its own subconscious meaning. That was quite interesting, wasn't it? Anyway, to continue, you can clearly see that there's just so much to do and possibly to buy here in M&M World. We actually got a few souvenirs and some candy dispensers for the kids. So after a long wait at the cash register, we headed across the street to the Lego store. There's a line outside and a wait time of about 5 to 10 minutes, but this is a flagship store and the biggest in the world, so it's something that my boys would not miss. It's quite a treat to see a Lego replica of Elizabeth Tower a tube carriage, also known as the underground train carriage. And my favorite is this mosaic artwork on the stairwell. And if you look closely, it's actually a 3D construction of the London landscape. Now, that's amazing. Mm. 
My kids were busy creating their own Lego characters. While I was happy and contented looking at their awesome displays. This one the most, so that's why I will get, give the backpack. Yeah. Uh, a sword, uh, a sword to him. Sword yeah, uh huh. And like an Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Aquaman. Yeah. No, but that's already from him. I oh. like him the most. Okay. Oh, that one was fun. Yeah, the headphones. Yeah, too bad their popular Lego mosaic maker was out of order. So, we didn't get the chance to see any finished product. But this place is definitely a must for all LEGO enthusiasts who happens to be here in London. So guys, we're done shopping at M&M's World and LEGO Store London, but there's one more place to go. Alright guys, this place, this place beats Mayan Corp by a mile, I guess. And where are we right now? We are at Harrods. Let's go inside. Uh, with me, it's okay. All right. Binu? We are here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we gotta find Gita. Come, let's go, Liam. Let's go, my love. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, sorry, no problem. Okay, guys, we were just at Harrods and we're now on our way back home. Unfortunately, yes. they told us that we can't film inside, so I could not show you um, our experience there at Harrods. Suffice it to say, for those of you who have heard of this shopping mall, it really is the highest end of the highest end of shopping. I was hoping that I could get something small or a souvenir even, but even if it's like a small tote bag or whatever, it's just ridiculously expensive. And it's not practical for me really. But we had great fun. And right now it's time to go back and we'll see you again for our next adventure here in London. See you then, thanks for watching. Bye kids, thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more videos, please click on subscribe. Bye! Bye! Thanks again for watching and until next time.